Good afternoon, Ryan Willard here, Business of Architecture UK host. And this week I've been looking at some of the reappointment fee scales um, and the salary averages, the salary medians for part three architects and just architects in general. And one thing that you'll often notice, and I, you know, I had it last week, it was a, a couple of uh, experiences talking to practice owners and to um, architects who were looking for work. And the conversation around the, how much an architect actually gets paid often comes up. And it can be quite a disappointing conversation, um, the expected salaries. And it's a critical, critical part of the industry because architecture, probably the biggest issue in architecture industry at the moment is fees and the lack of finance that is readily available or the perceived lack of finance that is readily available for architectural fees. And as architects, we are responsible for how much we get paid ultimately. And the skills, the, the two skills that really determine how much you are able to get paid is sales and marketing and we might treat those as dirty words we might kind of see them with cynicism but those two actually when we understand what they are at the very deepest levels of human communication and being able to provide value and be able to communicate deeply into the needs desires and wants and priorities of a potential client that is when we are able to communicate our value to a very high level. When we're able to do that, we're able to command better fees and we can do that across the industry. So these two skills, this is what I'm very passionate about bringing to the architectural industry. I love sales and marketing. And tomorrow I'm actually gonna give a free webinar. We're gonna be looking at a couple of um, case studies of architects who I think have really been innovative in their business models and have really mastered sales and marketing. And they might, it's interesting, because they might not actually call it sales and marketing themselves, which is brilliant because when we, when we see it as an extension of our communication and how we're designing and solving problems, that's when it's, you know, and it's aligned with our deepest mission of our businesses, this is when it becomes very effective educational content marketing and we're able to listen and communicate very very effectively with potential clients so tomorrow there's a free webinar training where i'll be looking at three architects how they broke the mold how they've developed recession proof architectural practices and they've gone from in many cases small bedroom practices to large international um, practices with landmark projects so in this webinar you will learn how these architectural practices have mastered the art of attracting and winning architecture clients, how they have learnt the art of mastering your message in order to be able to get in front of the right kinds of clients for the right kinds of uh, projects that you most want to do in your practice. And also I'm gonna be giving a strategy which you can implement almost immediately um, that has been taken from these architects and how they operate and how they communicate with their, with their target clients. So I look forward to seeing you there tomorrow.